If you are pulling me, I'm showing you on the Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. I'm not pulling you. Stop hurting! Stop pulling! Please stop! What happens when an overly entitled teen meets a cop who's absolutely done with excuses? Sir, needs to clean up my feet. So have fun cleaning up my what nasty feet. You're going to clearly clean. This is allowed. It's not. This is allowed. Public urination is not allowed. I'm going to make sure I sue you. What? Well, just because I'm black don't mean I'm not weapon. No. Can you call my mother? No. When a teenager used to getting her way and an officer who's here to remind her that actions have real consequences. Hey, you still busy. Stop resisting! I'm not doing anything! I'm Stop doing. pulling your arm away! That's called resisting! Get out of the roadway! Get out of the roadway! Hey! Stop! Stop! Get off. Stop. Why is that touching me? <laughs> Don't. It's a lesson in respect, reality, and a wake-up call she never saw coming. Get ready to see what happens when entitlement meets accountability. In a gripping encounter captured on video, this heavily intoxicated girl finds herself at the center of a chaotic scene that spirals out of control. As officers discover her asleep on the deli steps, what begins as a routine welfare check quickly escalates into a confrontation filled with defiance and emotional turmoil. Because he did not let me pee, which I would have been well, clearly there's, clean there's up. nowhere allowed. Okay, because this is allowed. This is allowed. This is allowed. Public urination is not allowed. Stop touching me! On March 3, 2024, officers encounter a heavily intoxicated girl asleep on the steps of a deli. While her initial cooperation gives a glimmer of hope, her sudden agitation soon reveals the volatile mix of substances and emotions at play. Her demands to use the bathroom quickly escalate into a quarrel with police, showcasing the all-too-common denial of responsibility that often accompanies substance abuse. Name potty. Okay. You need to go to the bathroom? I can't. I need Well, let's not. We're not going to potty in here on the steps. We, so we can't bad. potty on the steps. It's cold out here. I'm freezing. I know you're cold. Just come have a seat in the back of this car. We need to potty so you're, badly. You're, you're done partying. We're done with no, that. No, potty. Potty. Oh. Potty. Potty. I need to pee, like, really f***ing badly. No, 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 no. no. no let's don't, not do don't that. Do that. No. Please don't. don't. No. Really badly. I mean, you're going to have to hold it. Okay, I'm going to pee on your cell phone. Right. And that's not technically my fault. That's technically I'm doing your obligation. Everybody's got to go to the bed. I, I okay, so that. it's technically I'm doing your obligation. So because I need to pee, that means you need to clean it up. Have fun. It's Look under the arrest of a 12.1 Please show me, please. She's I'm very scared. I'm very controlled, so I know what 2.42 means voluntarily in our application. So that means that you are obligated to pee up my clean. Clean up my pee. Well, I would understand that if you were in custody. You realize that, right? You're not in custody. I'm not an obligation of custody. So it means you, you, sir, Adrian, what happened sir, needs to clean up my pee. So have fun cleaning up my what nasty pee. Because you know, no, he did not let me pee, which I would have been well, there's, clearly cleaning up. There's nowhere allowed. Okay, because this is allowed. Yeah, this is allowed. It's not. This is allowed. Public urination is not allowed. Allowed. It's not allowed. It's allowed. No, nope. because he allowed me to be. Do you realize that? I'm telling you. Do you realize you. that? Do you I've realize been that? Okay. The whole time. I hope you've been all. You're not because... under arrest. <laughs> what are you talking you about? You realize you have not been under control. This is. The woman's insistence that officers must grant her access to a bathroom highlights a widespread misunderstanding of police authority. While she threatens to relieve herself on the spot, the reality is that law enforcement is under no legal obligation to cater to her demands. Instead of capitulating, the officers aim to de-escalate the situation. A daunting task as her agitation continues to escalate. Hi, you're tired. And you realize that we called you rescue because you're going to go to the hospital now. You're tired. You have not been You're going to go to the hospital now. You're not in control of your own body, so it's nice. I'm pretty sure I am. I can tell you control right now. Let go of me. You are 180, girlfriend. Look, you're I'm not, walking I'm not, to the control right now. Really. You are literally because I am not trying to control. <laughs> if you are pulling me, I'm showing you on the Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, okay? You, all of you. Stop. Stop. 
I make sure I do all of you. I got this. I make sure I do all of you. Stop resisting. I make sure I do all of you. What the f is wrong with you? Stop resisting. What the f is wrong with you? What the f is wrong with you? Stop resisting. What the f is wrong with you? Stop resisting. Stop resisting. As officers try to lend a helping hand, or at least an attempt to keep her from urinating on herself, she transforms into a one-woman protest against sobriety, claiming she'll sue the police for, what exactly, for not giving her the bathroom break of her dreams? This dramatic twist is where her entitlement takes center stage, showcasing a classic case of, I'm not under arrest, so I can do whatever I want. In New Jersey, resisting arrest is a disorderly person's offense, potentially leading to up to six months in jail and fines of up to $1,000. It's almost comical how she believes legal action can be taken against those trying to maintain order, a point lost on many in similar situations. What the f I got you, I got you, I got you. I got it. What the f is wrong with you, bro? Ah! What the f is wrong with you? What the f is wrong with you? I'm gonna make sure I sue you. Roll her over on the side. Have a seat. Her verbal threats of litigation highlight her awareness of legal recourse, even in an altered state. This moment serves as a reminder of the complexities law enforcement faces in these encounters. When someone becomes combative, officers must balance the need for compliance with the legal ramifications of their actions. This is definitely going to be a visit to the police station that will test all of her skills.
The paramedics arrive like superheroes ready to save the day, but our star is still on her refuse to cooperate tour. She continues to threaten legal action against the officers, blissfully unaware that her antics are doing more to ensnare her in a legal web than any lawsuit ever could. It's almost humorous how she thinks she can just lawyer up against the police while failing to recognize she's already in a world of legal trouble. Talk about biting the hand that tries to help you. I'm suing! I'm suing. Don't worry, I'm suing. Don't worry! Woo, you guys are going to get a big lawsuit! A big lawsuit! Stop touching me, bitch! I'm getting a big lawsuit. Stop touching me! Oh, I'm lawsuiting! Oh, I'm There you go. Sorry. We got it. Stop touching me! Ah! 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 Stop touching me! What the f is wrong with you? You guys are lost to me! Oh my god! You guys have no authority over this, and I cannot wait till I lost to you. All of you! Alright, easy. There you go. Don't slide her up. You are literally putting me under arrest for nothing! Relax, stop. What the is wrong Luke, with you? Slightly, there you go. That's all right. What the is wrong with you? Let go of me, She's trying to bite you guys. Yep, you got it. All right. She's trying to bite you. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. Yep, watch your hand. No, you guys let me sue me for nothing. Relax. Hold on. Stop letting go of me! There you go, okay. Let go of me, you watch dumb little f***. Oh, I cannot okay. wait till you break my arm Relax. and I Go ahead, break her. Go ahead. Do you have a sheet to put her around on this side or no? All right, put it around her. Stop! Let go of me! You want to tie it? I hope you're around. Relax. I'm hoping it's a jail. You think I'm really in jail? Wait, before. There you go. Stop! Let go of me! I'm going to jail. Luke, we're going to go in with the doctor. She's okay. Even as she unleashes her verbal onslaught against the officers, claiming they have no authority over her, the reality is that she's digging herself deeper into a hole. It's a classic mix of denial and misplaced bravado. Little does she know that in Wildwood, a person can face charges like harassment or even assault if they threaten law enforcement. One could say her approach to legal advice is akin to trying to win a race with a flat tire. Hopeless and a tad comical. Why are you being so nasty? Because I hope that your mother fing mother fing Watson. Oh, you dumb little bitch. Watch. <laughs> Watch. Watch, your mother's gonna run. Watch. <laughs> we, have, we have another one for. Uh, we, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> and then when Don't your mother walks in, you're gonna yeah. cry like a little bug. Fast forward to the hospital, where her charm only seems to escalate. She confronts medical staff as if they're the villains in her personal saga, claiming her treatment is illegal while simultaneously recording her outbursts. It's as if she's auditioning for a reality show titled, How to Alienate Everyone Around You. Her combative nature puts her health at risk and turns her into a spectacle rather than a patient in need of help. If only she realized that she could achieve fame without the accompanying police report. Definitely gotta step my bench game up, you know? So much. Oh, please, open the book, please. I'm not pulling, please. I'm not pulling. Ah! Ah, oh, please! Ma'am, I'm not pulling. Ah. Then we'll slide her with the Please! Ma'am, I, I 
I'm not pulling you. Stop hurting! Stop pulling! Please stop! What is wrong with you? I'm hurting me so much! Doc, you got on the legs? Unbelievable. My mother has gone through it now, and you decided to handcuff me. And first sure. Do you want us to call Guess your family? Guess what? I have video all over Excellent. there. Excellent. Do you want us to call make your sure. family? Sure. Do you want us to call Don't your family? Don't touch it. Do not touch it. Do you want I'm us to call your family? I'm going to make sure. That is true. That's true. What are you going to make sure? Go ahead, take this hand away. Let go of my leggings. Let go. Put a sign down. Yep. And I'm recording one. Take this sign down. Yeah. Okay. I'm recording one. Because I told you I do not want any authority over my legs. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. What's his name? Tyler Lindbergh. Sit back. Ooh, I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure. Get you, Lee Thomas. Ooh, I'm going to make sure. Jesus. What's let go of me! The f is wrong with you? No f I'm gonna get fired. What are you gonna do? Alright, uh, Adriana, stop, stop. Just let the what drugs work. Do, let the drugs work. Record? I'm recording! I'm recording all of this! And I hope you open your f first! You're good. Stopping me! Stop! Stop! You can't record this! This is not legal! This is not legal! Her aggressive attitude has landed her in jail with charges of disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, public intoxication, and assaulting officers. Instead of enjoying a carefree night out, she now faces serious legal repercussions that could impact her future. It's a vivid reminder that every action has repercussions, especially when you're drunk and yelling at police officers. So, as we watch this delightful train wreck unfold, we have to ask ourselves, how do we prevent such a spectacle from happening again? Perhaps a few more public service announcements about the importance of hydration, with water, not alcohol, could do the trick. Remember, folks, being a public nuisance is a surefire way to find yourself on the wrong side of the law. Come out of the car for me, please. I need you to step out of the car. Yeah, now taxi. Your license is suspended. As we transition from one chaotic encounter to another, the drama escalates when a seemingly ordinary day takes a turn for the worse, revealing the harsh realities of intoxication and the legal repercussions that follow. Ma'am, what are you doing? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, you shut up. No, no, I'm not going to. Huh. Oh, ma'am, you're going to get hurt. You have to step away from the vehicle. Get out of the roadway. Why is it touching me? Get out of the roadway. As the encounter begins on May 28, 2022, we see a driver who feels justified in her reckless lane changes, arguing that she was simply trying to navigate through heavy traffic. But as any law enforcement officer will tell you, the road rules apply to everyone, and evasive maneuvers don't exempt you from scrutiny. Copy. 2013 Chevy. You're driving. When you pulled that little stunt over there, how you cut everybody off and accelerate like a... I wasn't... Ma'am, there's just traffic heavy here. There's no need for that. So I need your license. Okay, what's the... What's the atmosphere, officer? You could have caused two or three accidents. No, I was driving so I wouldn't cause no accident. No, you were driving aggressively. I was getting away from the traffic. Because There's bumper to bumper traffic at 91 at this hour. You should not be driving that way. You were so lucky. No, I wasn't doing 91. And then the lady was, wasn't was even doing the speed limit that I was behind. Do you know what the speed limit is right here? It's not what she was doing. She What's was the doing speed limit? It's no, it's 25. She was doing at least 15. Well, she can do 15. I went, she can do 15, but Yeah, I can't you can't go. drive aggressively and you change so she lanes. Can go, so she, can do 15, right? she doesn't feel safe. That's that's not a violation, 15 and 25. So you allowed to go slow in the 25? Right? Well, that's your judge of how fast she's going. Did you have her on, on radar or something? Well, she or? Was going the stream. That's fine, but you can't be aggressive like that, whipping out. You don't have the right of way to change the lane unless it's clear. Oh, you just cut I it did, over. No, you I just did. cut it over and get it. I did. All right. I need your license. I need your insurance. I did. So you said I did. 
I just need your license insurance, ma'am. No, excellent. I'm allowed to ask questions. I understand that. I need your license. You can do a signal. I, I need use a signal, no. sir. I license. Did. Okay, that's a license. You don't have insurance? I do have insurance. I said I don't have my insurance card with me. Okay. Sir. Can you bring it up on your phone or no? I'll be back. Things take a sharp turn when the officer asks for her license and insurance, only to discover that our heroine is cruising with a suspended license. Instead of acknowledging her less than stellar driving record, she opts for the classic it's not my fault defense, ramping up the tension like a bad soap opera. Really, who knew that refusing to admit you've made a mistake could be such an exhilarating plot twist? Come out of the car for me, please. I need you to step out of the car. Yeah, and I'm taxing. Your license is suspended. Okay, I like to do I just made a payment. It's not, it's do you have any paperwork on you? So anyway, I need you to step out of the car. You need me to step out of the car. So please step out of the car. You have to get smart. Step out of the car. Ma'am, step out of the car. He's been with me since he walked up to the car. Okay. And it's beautiful. Uh, we're yeah, going to go back here because we don't want to. You're not under arrest right now. Here. Just, we're just going to come back so this just way. Stay, come on out of the car. All right, leave your purse there for me. Oh. All right, you don't have anything on you? No weapons, anything like that? You're going to come back there. in the back of my ear. No, the police car. You have nothing yeah. on you? What's in your pocket right there? In your right pocket? What? Just because I'm black, don't mean I got a weapon. No. Let's go. Yeah, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> It's clear that playing the race card in this case is utterly ridiculous. This should not serve as a get out of jail free card for those who break the law. When used so casually, it undermines genuine instances of discrimination and makes them seem trivial. Such behavior only serves to dilute the real struggles faced by individuals who truly encounter systemic injustice. I'm just gonna do a quick pat down on you, make sure you don't have any weapons that we can't see, okay? All right, just go ahead, just face the car real quick. All right. We're gonna have you, you're not under arrest. Okay, we're just having you have a seat in the back of his car, okay? You said your driver's license, you weren't, you're not aware it's suspended or what's going no, on with it? I have to have an SR-22 for my license to be uh, valid, but by it being a Saturday, it doesn't, it's not gonna go through. I got paid yesterday. Okay, did you so, pay it today or did you pay paid, it yesterday? I paid it. Do you have a receipt show that shows you paid it? Yes, okay, all right, well you weren't, you weren't on trying- medical marijuana card? A medical marijuana card? Medical marijuana card. No, I don't. Okay. I, I haven't. Have you had somebody else in your car that's been smoking? I had someone else in my car, but I haven't been smoking. Are you where else are your plates expired? I got expired everything. Yeah, I, I, everything is in the mix of it. It's so much stuff going on. It's like, so you have to- So pass you have to the, pass um, that before you can yeah, get the plates? Yeah, but I have the appointment on Monday. Okay. To get it. To get on Memorial Day? Yeah, it is Memorial Day, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose that. See if you can find a receipt for that SR-22, and we'll see what, what's going on, okay? If there is marijuana in your vehicle, where? It's not no marijuana in the vehicle at it's, all. Okay, somebody was smoking? smoking. Yeah, Okay. Like bud. Well, yeah. because we smell it, we're still going to check to make sure there's nothing in the vehicle, that's okay? Fine. And you're going to be issued a citation for, you know, everything that's going on. Obviously, the expired plates and stuff like that, okay? We'll get everything figured out, all right? Okay. Do you want this window down so you have air back here? All right. After an exchange with the suspect, both officers are understandably wary of the woman. It's evident she's weaving a story on the fly. But let's not rush to judgment just yet. Let's see what surprises await in her car when they conduct the search. Stay tuned. small roach yeah she doesn't seem to want that is, so. i have a bag of mine okay so you do have a roach in your car all right it's a little bit of marijuana and there's some shake underneath the passenger floorboard 
So you can't have people in your car, whether you're the one smoking or somebody else. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions about that or no? Get your purse. Oh, you thought that was the grand finale? Sorry to burst your bubble, but in this wild ride, it's never that straightforward. Get ready for the plot twists, because things are about to get even wilder. Man, no, you know Joe, you your truck go. Why you your truck go. Oh, everything's racist. Yeah, it is. That's what y'all do. The fact that you don't have a driver's license, no insurance, inspires that. It's our fault, right? And he didn't give me my insurance. Where's my, um... That's going to be at 2 Oh, no. Well, now you're taking my driver's license. Why would you take my driver's license? Property of State of Ohio. Property of State of Ohio. Why is it property of State of Ohio? I never got my driver's license. You have to go to the court. But, just because other people don't want to do it the right way doesn't mean we're not. not the right way. Y'all just race it. You know what? We're done. Yeah, you want to pull that car? We're right here. We're right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Resisting. You're I'm not resisting. Yeah, you are. Me. We're fighting you. You're resisting. I'm not fighting you. Stop resisting. Up. I got another pair back here. Can y'all please just give me up? When we're done, you'll get up. I didn't just even. Just relax. I'm Stop not resisting. Can y'all give me up, please? We will. Since we handcuffed you, we didn't trust you to. Right. I didn't punch you. Do you have that on camera? Yep. Yes. I promise I didn't punch you. I moved him out the way. I didn't punch him. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, go ahead. He grabbed me. Yep. For a reason. Okay. Put her palm down. Put her palm down. Palm down. Toward, there you go. There. Hey, y'all still busy. Stop resisting. I'm not doing anything. I Stop promise. pulling your arm away. That's I'm called not, resisting. I promise I'm not pulling That's my arm. That's called resisting. That's the crazy part. I'm not even okay. moving it. Can hey, y'all please get off of me? Oh. I didn't even move. Hold on. It's tightening up. Stop moving, man. Let me tight. Let me lock it so it doesn't tighten on you. But all that time I was just doing that, I wasn't resisting. I'm ready to stand you up. Ready? One, two, three. Can I get my citation? Yeah. Yep, hold on. I didn't hit you. I didn't hit you. I promise. Did you put it back in yours or mine? I no, I didn't hit you. Can I get my phone? Oh, is it? Okay, I'll grab it. Over there? I we'll get it. We'll get it. I didn't punch you, No, I didn't. Okay, well, we're not going to argue about it. It's on I camera. I didn't, I didn't punch you. I promise I didn't put it. Can you go get my phone? Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. Because you're not listening. I am about to come. Scoot over. Please scoot over. Can I get my phone? I, I have it. Phone. Now. Well, I can't get my phone. Can Watch I get my phone? Stop it. Move your knee it's over. It's right here. It's going Watch with you. Knee. I already checked it all. She we both has, checked it. She has some pills. But other okay, they're, they're, weapons no, there's just prescription pills. Okay. And none of them are controlled. Ultimately, she walks away with a treasure trove of charges. Assaulting a police officer, obstructing official business, resisting arrest, and, of course, driving with a suspended license. In Solon, Ohio, that's not just a slap on the wrist. It's a full-on legal smackdown. Assaulting an officer could land her in prison for 6 to 18 months. Talk about a long time to think about your life choices. So, let this be a lesson to all our viewers. The next time you find yourself in a run-in with the law, Remember that a little humility and compliance can save you from the unfortunate fate of our lane-changing legend. 
Because really, who wants to turn a minor traffic stop into a full-blown episode of Law & Order? Highway Patrol? Stay safe out there and use your turn signal. Get my mom! Get my mom! Get my mom! <laughs> On March 28, 2024, officers responded to a multi-vehicle accident involving a damaged Mitsubishi with the smell of fresh marijuana. The police quickly arrived at the scene to promptly address the situation. So who was driving? Are you driving? She was. Do you have the insurance on this vehicle? All right, can I get that from you, please? That insurance off you, please. Why are you uh, postponing me getting that? All right, I just need to stop a quick picture and then I don't have to worry about it, all right? All right. Oh, Your phone died? Yep. No, it did. Can you press the unlock button for me? Yeah. All right. Well. It was reported that the 18-year-old suspect, named Mia, was uncooperative when the police asked her to exit the vehicle, demanding to see her mother before complying with the officer's instructions. Stay on scene until we get it all figured out. Oh, stop it. Oh, Mia. I don't like you. Start, start clearing people out, all right? Just have a family. Mia, search the vehicle. It smells like it smells like oil of raw cannabis. You're gonna step out. No, you gotta step out. My mother is right here. You are 18. Go get my mother. I don't care. Go get my Mia, mother right I, here. Step out of the vehicle. I will wait until my mother is right here. I don't. And y'all not gonna arrest me for sitting here and waiting for my mother. She's right there. Watch I don't know her. what. Oh, bro. Go tell my What have we ever done to you? I nothing. Then what? Then what? Then my personal business like that. Then we're investigating the crime. Okay, get the crime. I'll get my mother. I don't want to put you in handcuffs, all right? Oh, get my f I can say that. Y'all can get my money. Shelton. Thank you, good job. We are. Great. You doing it? I like it. Did anything you find in this car is not fucking. Ask about that. Why are we already, uh, why are we already making a defense? Is there anything in here we're going to find? I mean, I mean, is there anything in here we should know about? Is there anything that you've got a stereotype? Well, I'm on. Is there any bombs? Anything like that? That would be bad. Is there any guns? Sir. Come on, baby. You have to get out of the car. I know. I just wanted to be right here because I don't fuck. For what? Okay, Mia. I'm just saying. I know what. But the best. Good. Because you know, you know, see how the color. As soon as the police began to handcuff Mia, she continuously resisted and seemed to lose control, turning the arrest into a tense confrontation. Perhaps she was unaware that resisting the police can lead to various penalties depending on the severity of the act and the laws of each state. These penalties may include fines, jail time ranging from a few days to several years, or even prosecution as a criminal offense with more severe consequences. Additionally, the offender may face additional charges if the resistance involves violence or other crimes. In minor cases, the court may impose probation or require community service. Perhaps she was too young to understand the serious consequences of her actions? Stay tuned to see how the story unfolds. Registered to you? No. Who's the car's registered to you? To you? Are you okay with go, it going to Joe's? Going to Joe's lot? No, I Joe's want it to be towed so I can get my car back. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Jails. Not jails. Okay. Joe's towing. They'll take it to their lot. Call your insurance in the morning. Uh, have their own set of questions and everything. They Is can this send. Total. With the airbag deployment, there's a good chance. 
you'll still have like access to it and stuff, but there's a chance, yeah, there's a chance you don't get the car back if the insurance totals. Yeah, absolutely. You can, you, can you, you, can you can get whatever you can get whatever stuff you want out. Well, when we're done, hold on, hold on. Whatever you want out of it. So what what happens is once it hits our lot, except medications. Uh, Fifteen charges for dumb shit. What, what charges are there? Are there, are there? Oh. Never said we were charging you with anything like that. Yeah, so just, right yeah. now you have. I'm down right now. Okay. Like just, like still, what he was explaining was if you refuse to get out of the car, at that point you're resisting an truck. You go into handcuffs. He's telling you. He's yeah, telling you to get out, you out of the car when we have probable cause. Anything they can charge you with, best believe they're going to do. I'm going to become a cop. Okay. That, that's good, but so, we're not, that, that's just cooperate. And keep your comments. You can think whatever you want. You have to keep your comments to yourself. If you would like, I can explain it to you. No, no. Okay. When's the last question? I don't have to answer. Do not walk up to the car. This is where no. you're. Yep. <laughs> don't. Stop. The struggle between the two sides quickly ended when the police subdued the suspect. However, she continued to scream and repeatedly called for her mother. It seems that this mother has become a crutch, enabling the suspect's unruly behavior. Try to swing on me! What happened? Hey, stop! Stop! I don't want to stop! Ma'am, back up! Back up! Hey! Put your hands behind your back! Don't follow! She's now going! She's now on her! I'm saving the f***ing off! Don't follow her! You f***ing kids! I'm going to kill you! You I hate you, you stepped on my hand. Okay? And you body slammed me, and I'm gonna fuck. Okay. <laughs> you spit, I swear to God. Do not give them a reason to hurt you, please. What is your deal? This is the deal. Do you see how I'm fing me? I know, bro. They're looking for a reason to hurt you. She tried to spit on me. No, I didn't use them. You can call them You can call me a I don't care. Mia, just stop. 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 We got aggravated bag on cops to kick me. Good. Now she's got in a felony with that. Even while inside the police cruiser, she kept calling for her mother, hoping that her mother would help her escape the charges the police had filed. But the reality is certainly not what Mia expected. At 18, she is old enough to be held accountable for her wrongful actions. Get my mom! Get my mom! Get my mom! <laughs> We're just gonna go to the mom. Mom. Gonna get the deal. No! So we're gonna get the deal. Yeah, yeah. I wanna go to my mom! Where is my mom? And why is this shit on my face? You try spitting. I know, bro. I want my mom. Give me your ankle. Do not kick me. Okay, but I want my mom. Oh yeah, what's your wife name? I'm not gonna tell you my wife. Put your feet down. My feet are down. Okay, we'll put the seatbelt on you, my mother. Going to. It's all on camera. You go. It's all on camera. This is an open case. Open case, ho. That's fine. Open case. On the way to the headquarters, Mia kept using insulting words, especially swear words coming from an 18-year-old girl. Perhaps her mother's tolerance had turned her daughter into such a stubborn and aggressive person. Talk to me. The way you throwing that 18 year old. Oh, the way you grabbing on her. I wish your daughter could f***ed up. 
how that make you feel? Cause that, that's how mad I am. And then I'm mad, I was mad because I crashed my car and it was my fault. Y'all could not understand. It pissed me off even more. It had nothing to do with y'all until y'all acted like the white You guys mother I hate cops. And matter of fact, I want to the industry. And I will. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be your mother off you I'm and get this on camera, cause I swear to God, I'ma meet my mother dream. Yes, I'm talking my shit, and you can all sue me for emotional distress. Cause white mother people, crack. Love is my mother, cause she not white like y'all. She understand how it is. You grew up with two mother parents. You grew up and it was a nice. Boy, I could be a cop, but nobody would understand that shit. You understand? Ten year old black female, and how it is to be treated like this, to be a hero. And I, I got in the car crash, and I told y'all it's my fucking fault. And because I don't have a car, I'm upset because I just got this car a week. My fault, not because of y'all, but the way y'all treated me, the way you talk. Even at the police station, Mia maintained her aggressive attitude, showing no remorse for her actions. Yes, I accidentally kicked your mother up. If any of y'all have reason, talk to you. You want to talk to me? No, him, the black guy. Me? Yes. Oh, you going to cooperate with him? I'm going to, I'm going to speak to him Somebody? with some common sense because he okay. looks like he got some on my ankles. I said, cut it into my ankles, bro. Yeah, you know you. why? Finally, Mia was charged with the following offenses. Aggravated assault on a police officer, serious assault, resisting arrest, obstruction of justice, and traffic violations. She faces severe penalties. Aggravated assault and serious assault can result in prison sentences ranging from 1 to 20 years, while resisting arrest can lead to imprisonment from a few months to several years. Obstruction of justice typically results in fines or short jail terms, while traffic violations may lead to fines, points on the driver's license, or short-term imprisonment in severe cases. This incident highlights the importance of cooperating and complying when interacting with the police. Resisting, displaying a defiant attitude, or using offensive language can escalate the situation and lead to severe legal consequences. Instead, maintaining a calm and cooperative demeanor can help resolve issues more quickly and safely. Additionally, understanding your rights and responsibilities when facing law enforcement is crucial to avoid unnecessary risks. The above case is indeed dramatic, but it may not be the most extraordinary situation in today's video. When you witness the next case, you'll see how horrifying it can be. It's about a woman who engages in evasive actions upon realizing she has caused an unavoidable disaster. What are you being yelling at? What am I being detained for? For leaving the scene of an accident. What are you talking about? On December 8th, the police were called to a Taco Bell regarding a 22-year-old woman who had crashed her car into the side of the building, causing total damage to the vehicle. The police quickly arrived at the scene to investigate the situation. Where did you see her coming from? I was sitting down in the back of my car. So you sitting in the back of your car, this white one. Hold on, Tanya. Cigarette. Uh -huh. And then I heard, like, maybe her time might have went out or something. Uh -huh. 
And then I heard, and then I heard the crash, the boom, and then I went to the side of the building to drive to the car. Okay. And she said, call my mama, and then, I was, and then they thought, and she seen that we was calling the police, then she ran. Okay. And then that's when. Yeah, how fast she might have been going. You physically saw her with your two eyes. I'm not proud to see what it was Okay. And she, what say she, what she say? She, I told her, uh, we'll call her mama after we get called the police. And then what did she say after anything else? She like, According to witness statements at the scene, after the accident, she fled the area. A search was initiated, but the police soon found the woman walking barefoot on the sidewalk. The woman was identified as Maria, and she seemed to lose control of her emotions when the officers asked her to cooperate and provide information. Not just after being advised that this driver, no, 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 it's all true. Stay on the sidewalk. I'm gonna assume you were the one that was driving the car. Driving the car. No. Uh, no. 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 I'm looking for them. They left me. Relax. I want you to be able to have a seat. Me. Have a seat. Have a seat. Just have a seat right now. Have a seat. Have a seat. Can you please call my mother? We will talk about it, but right now, right now, she come get me. I don't care right now. Right now, I'm investigating something. So I need you to have a seat. How do you want to play it? I want to sit down. I want you to sit. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> sit. The officer tried to calm the woman, but the first thing Maria thought of was to call her mother. When the police tried to gather information from the suspect, she seemed so anxious that the process was very difficult. Consequently, the police decided to arrest the woman. Can I call my mom? Well, we'll talk about now, that in a minute. I'll What's your up. name? Maria. Maria what? Is there anybody? Did they see anybody else in the vehicle? She's advising that other people were in the area. He jumped out. Who jumped out? The guy. I don't even know who his name is. He, well, our friend. Okay. He said, that's our homeboy, whatever. He jumped. I literally said. How old are you? Me, 22. Eight to nine, they're saying it's her. Seven four, seven four. He jumped out. He okay. said, oh yeah, f y'all. Me, no. Do you feel fine? No, I'm okay. Is there another unit that can be in the middle of the roadway and the roadway? Okay, we'll call your mom in a minute. Can huh? I call my mother? We will call your mom. Listen to me. Slow down. Why are so you I don't talking need to call me crazy? Because I didn't just you yelling at me, so I don't, that's, that's no, not how it's working. I didn't. Why am I talking you crazy? Because I got witnesses that say you were in that car by yourself. That's crazy as f no. Go looking for it. Okay. I was not by myself. That's crazy. So she was alone, but yeah. she's saying there was somebody else. Five other people. They left. It says that her there was police. five people in that car. Yes. It says that her. I stayed. Well, it wasn't the fact is that you y'all just crashed into Doco Bell. That didn't give. Either way, they were not gonna stay there. Safe. Hmm? Safe 10-15 for the time being and transport up. We're gonna put her over there. Mm -hmm. Stand up for me. Are you arrested? Right now you're being placed in the house. Tell me that right now. For what? Okay. For what? We're gonna go do an investigation and figure out what's going on with this car. Yeah. Okay? You're doing what? I have two northbound lanes on the South Central Trail Block. No. So why am I being arrested? Right now you just left the scene of an accident. Why am I placing cuffs? For I never what? said that you're being arrested right now. Right no, now you're being detained. But for what? And what's and we're gonna talk to the officer over there and figure out what's going on over here. I didn't even go No. No. <laughs> witnesses that say you were at Taco Bell. As she was being escorted to the police vehicle, the woman resisted and seemed unable to accept the reality of her arrest, repeatedly insisting on contacting her mother. Resisting the police, including refusing to cooperate, arguing, or attacking officers, 
can lead to serious charges such as resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer. Penalties may include imprisonment, fines, and community service. Although there are legal protections such as the right to remain silent and the right to an attorney, resisting arrest does not mitigate legal responsibility and can escalate the severity of other charges. If the woman continues to display such attitudes, she faces the prospect of jail time. Stay tuned to follow the unfolding story. We're just gonna so, check it can you please look? Sure. Why am I, hold on. First am off, I, I'm not gonna be checking Am it. I being detained? 54, we're For what? I, what am are I being you yelling at? What am I being, what are you talking about? Would you stop, stop. Just stop, Maria, all right? Just stop. Explain to you, I'm not explaining it again. If you have anything that's in your pockets that's gonna hurt us. No. It's not? You got any drugs on you or anything? All right, let's stand up. Bruh, can I call my mama? You can call your mama later. Yeah. I do. Why don't you just stand up normal? Oh, f are you mad? Okay. Come on. Can I understand right now until we figure out what happened? Okay, okay. detained, right? Yes. So right what now, am I detained for? In Taco mm -hmm. Bell, and we have witnesses that saw you run from the car. So that's why you're detained. Put your feet inside. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna... Okay, but what am I detained for? Leaving the scene of an accident. No. Nothing happened! Accident. You're gonna see the... it. Huh? Gonna tell me that there's no accident when you get up there. Can you please explain to me how... What happened? What happened? Hey! Can you call my mother? Por qué? Por qué? Por qué? Call her! You better chill. Call her! Por qué? No me aborto. Why? Look at Call that my mother. Hello. Deanna, stop. 104? Call her. Bro, call her. Chill out. Ahora. Por qué? Por qué? Look. <laughs> Can you call my mom? Can you confirm again? <laughs> 10 4. 9 and 8. Do you want us to transfer it back up to you? Alright, get up. Step back in. Okay. Where is she? Just push it. Deanna. Don't miss up. Bro, why are you young? Yo, do you better put the foot Please. down. You better sit in there right now. No, you or you're going to catch another charge. Deanna, you don't want to do that. But, por qué? Por qué? Okay, as soon as my lawyer hears this. Okay. Okay. Right. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. As soon as my lawyer hears this. There's no reason yeah. Inside the police vehicle, the woman continued to scream and demand that the officers call her mother. However, she might not have been clear-headed enough to realize that she was of legal age and had to face the serious consequences of her actions on her own. Deanna. You gotta be, what did I do? Deanna, stop. What did stop. I do? Stop, man. I, am I in here for? I already told you. What the f***? Call my mother. I'm Okay? Right now you're acting like one though. Call my mama! You do something to this car, you're gonna catch another charge. You got me? Call my mama. I'm not gonna call your mama. <laughs> you better not kick this car again. What are you kicking? What the f getting a battery charge? Yep. Uh, she already Listen, Ten. we're done with this right now. Do me a favor, wow. what's your name? I really wish. What's her name? Deanna. 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 Let's try this again. No man important. Okay. Get to the east end. What the f did I do? Hey. I'm relax, stuck. Relax. Are you injured? What the f Are you injured? You want to come find out? Are you injured? Yes or no? See. It's a simple question. See. See where? See. You're injured. They cuffed me so tight. They cuffed you too tight? Check those when we get down to the jail. Can you stop trying to kick stuff, please? Okay. Why am I being crashed your car and then ran? Ran. Like ran away on foot, correct? Okay. So if I ran away, how am I right here? 
because you were and you started acting a fool. No, that's not what happened. Okay, so well, please. tell me what happened. Tell me what happened then. Okay. No, I'm not dealing with this. The fuck? Pull up the fucking cameras. Okay. Bef before I pull up the cameras, can you tell me what happened? I just like I was like, oh yeah, let me leave. Let me let me put them in. Additionally. The police discovered an unfinished bottle of alcohol in her car. This further supported the officer's decision. They also found several bottles of medication, which were believed to be the woman's blood pressure medication. Never mind, she does have a bottle. Yes, Patron. Silver Patron. The police took her to the hospital for an evaluation before completing the arrest procedures. At this point, the woman still clung to the hope that her mother would come and help her avoid these charges. I am cuffed to my back. What the f am I supposed to say? Tenny medications. Oh, am I being let go or? Take aside to ask, are you good? Never. You're wearing all black? You're a f lying. No, that never happened. Never for you too. We all have body cameras, right? Yes, exactly. We do. Exactly. We do. Thank you. That's fine. That's all I ask. Come on. No, I have all the time. I'm going to take it off. Wow. Can I walk? Thank you. Well, we're going to be good to walk? Can I walk? Looking good? Step out of the car, and Deanna. Step out of the car. Y'all annoying as Okay, well, I'm the one with my thing. That's it. No, stop. Yeah, All go. you got to do is just step out. Yeah. You want the wheelchair? Do I do? Yep. them. All right. All right. <laughs> Why? Why am I being intrigued about? What's doing you again? What's doing you a wheelchair? Bro, what the f is wrong with y'all? Ultimately, Maria was charged with leaving the scene of an accident and resisting arrest. She may also face DUI charges, as the police found evidence related to this during the investigation. In the United States, the penalties for leaving the scene of an accident can include imprisonment ranging from a few months to several years, fines from several hundred to thousands of dollars, and points on the driver's license. Resisting arrest can also lead to imprisonment from a few months to several years, along with fines. If convicted of DUI, Penalties may include imprisonment, fines, temporary suspension of the driver's license, and mandatory participation in treatment programs. This incident demonstrates that leaving the scene of an accident and resisting arrest not only result in serious legal consequences, but also complicate the situation further. Non-cooperation and resistance can lead to additional charges, increasing the severity of the penalties. Staying calm, cooperating with law enforcement, and adhering to the law are crucial to minimizing legal consequences and ensuring safety for oneself and others. The incident also serves as a warning for parents about the importance of educating their children. However, the next case will further understand the necessity of proper upbringing. This case involves a woman stubbornly clinging to her actions, hoping to escape the accusations from law enforcement. The person that failed me, he was a rookie. Oh, so no, you didn't do research. I'm, I'm Late one evening, the police stopped a vehicle for running a stop sign and nearly hitting an officer. They quickly pulled the driver over, and she claimed she was on her way to the hospital to visit a friend. This is the video recording of the incident. I know. Right. You have your I'm, license? I'm, I'm really nervous. You have your license? No, I don't. You don't have a license? My house? No. It's right here at the house. I don't have anything on me. You don't have a driver's license? No, sir. It's right here. No, babe. It's on my... This is my sister's car. She's out of town. Okay, go Please. and roll your window up. Stop right there. Stop the window right there so your dog's can breathe. Go and step up. You have the key? It's in the car. 
We'll grab the key so the dogs don't knock and keep it in your pocket. Yes, sir. Go step back to my patrol vehicle. Yes, sir. Okay. My patrol vehicle. Back to my patrol vehicle. Yes, sir. Okay. You think that's any reason to drive like a hospital, right? Yes, sir. Okay. What do you, What is it going to do for you to haul ass over there? I'm stressing. No, I, I get it. Any reason for you to do that? No. No, not at all. Right? Because what, what are you going to do? Just sit I'm there? I'm going to hurt somebody. Hospital, or you're going to kill somebody? I'm going right? to hurt somebody, yeah. All right. Do you have your ID? You know? It's not on me. Everything. You haven't had anything to drink my, tonight? No. Right. I can give you my address. I can give you everything. I can give you every treat. Mm -hmm. 2200 holiday. Okay. Why, so why are you over know. here? When I lit you up, why'd um, you start yelling at me? After checking and gathering information from the woman, the police discovered that she was driving with a suspended license. The officers decided to handcuff her, and the woman requested to call her mother to express her concerns about the vehicle and the dog that was left behind. All right, what else is in your pocket? The other key to my house. All right, put it up here. You know, you're not supposed to be driving, right? Yes, sir. Call my sister? No. Is she here? No, she's out of town, but I can call my mom and the dog so they don't have to be impounded. Okay, how far is it? My mom is up the street. Four, three, five, so come. Can I please, can I please call my Four, mom? Three, five. No. All I asked for. Uh, 15 by 1. Uh, for 122 G. Over here. You gonna have anything gonna cut poke stick me? No, sir. You can check me. I'm just gonna fill your pockets real no, quick. That's there. Fine. All right. No, you're fine. Can I please call my mom? I'll call her right now. No, for real. Cause I'll, I, I'll call I'm... her right now because we're not gonna take the dog. How long is it gonna take your mom to get here? I just need to call her and she'll Where, be Where's right your down phone at? Well, if I can get it, it's in the car. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. I've had three shots of 101s. Of 101? It's about 4.9% of alcohol. 4.9? You can breathalyze me about like 30 minutes ago. About 30 minutes ago? Yes, sir. Is that your only drinks then? Yes, sir. They're in the car. They're in the car? They should be. Mm. Okay. I have the rest. They're not drink is in the car. Okay. They're not open. They're closed. Okay. But, but you haven't drank anymore? Can you listen to me? Bar. But I did not open them. They're just closed. So those are new ones in there? Are they like little shooters and stuff? I'm going to put your glass. Thank oh my God, I can see you. Yes, sir. They're boosters. Okay. I bought them about step -rad, her stepdad from Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. <sighs> those are quick, okay? Okay. Um, I've never done this. I'll, I'll. Okay. okay, face my unit. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to close this door real quick, okay? Can I put this up? Okay? Yes, please do. Just step in front of my vehicle for me. After admitting to drinking alcohol, the officers quickly administered a sobriety test to gather additional evidence for the situation. However, the woman struggled with the tests, citing anxiety and difficulty in maintaining her balance as reasons. I need my glasses. Four, three, five. So come ten, six, six. Again, I'm gonna say this. I need my glasses to see. Okay. Well, That's we fine. do this test. Put what them in your say? pocket. I can't see shit from here. That's fine. You're gonna look at my finger right in front of your. I'm, I'm blind. Right. Okay, that's fine. Stand right here. That's not fine because you need step, to see. Step, step five. I can't see you. Okay. You're blurry. With your heels together, toes together. Put your, uh, put your heels together, toes together, arms at your side. All right. And your eyes only. I need you to follow the tip of my finger. Okay. Don't move your head. Do you understand? Don't move your head. I just told you not to move your head. He said he understood. You moved your head. You understand? Don't move your head. One more time, all right? Um, um. One more time. Okay, don't move your head. Eyeballs only. You can move your eyeballs, right? You've never done filth before? Well, apparently you have. The person yeah. that filled me, he was a rookie. Okay, so no, fine. you didn't do research. I'm, I'm so we could do this? 
or are you not gonna do my test? I'm gonna do your test. Awesome. All right. I'm gonna put my hands on. Like I told you to. And you're gonna keep your heels together and your toes together, arms at your side. Okay? Don't move your head. Awesome. Go ahead and come step over your thing. More than likely, yes. I have loss of balance and I'm scared. I have anxiety. Okay. Yes. So what I need you to do is imagine an imaginary straight line from your left foot all the way to all the way to this car. All right. Are you, are you gonna do this test or no? Yes. All right. What? So are you do gonna? You, do you, you keep me? talking. I want you to understand this test. Imaginary straight line from your left foot all the way to your car. Do you see it? P place your left foot on that line. Arms at your side. I did not tell you to begin. Keep your left foot with your. No, hey, pay attention. I'm paying attention. That's okay. My mom. Oh, that's fine. The officer's going to talk oh, to you. No, him. that's fine. I don't... Right foot, heel to toe, arms at your side. Stay in that position. I'm going to demonstrate this test for you, okay? With your left foot on that line, right foot, heel to toe, arms at your side. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps, okay? Three. Again, I'm doing three. You're going to do nine, okay? I get that. Once you get to your ninth step, you're going to take a small set line, nine heel to toe steps. One, two, three. Again, I did three. No. Do you understand this test? Yes. All right. So you're gonna keep your eyes down at your feet. No. Count out each step out loud, okay? Ready. I'm not. I didn't even told you to start. So I just asked if you were ready. When you're ready, okay? Once you start this test, don't don't stop it. Do you understand? You understand this test? I understand. Do you have any questions? No. As soon as she failed the simple test, she was arrested by the police and taken to the police vehicle once again. In New Mexico, refusing or failing a sobriety test can result in the suspension of the driver's license for six months to one year, conviction for driving while intoxicated DWI, and increased penalties such as imprisonment or fines. It may also require participation in a rehabilitation program and have long-term effects on the ability to maintain or restore the driver's license. She may have started to worry about the consequences of her mistake. Stay tuned to follow the unfolding story Alright man, go ahead and come step over here for me. Step right here where this light is, okay? Yeah. Okay, this next test, what we're gonna do is the one, uh, one leg stand, okay? Let's go. Alright, stay in that position. I'm gonna demonstrate this test for you, okay? Let's With go. the foot of your choice, you're gonna raise it up the size of a Coke can, okay? You're gonna look down at your foot at all times. You're gonna count in this manner. You're gonna look down. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,006, and so on for approximately 30 seconds, okay? Do you have any questions? Okay, you're going to keep your eyes down. You're going to count in the manner I explained to you. Arms at your side, and don't stop the did it, okay? I mean, I want to go. Go ahead and begin. 1, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,009. 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 15, 1016, 1017. Where am I going? I'll tell you when to stop. 2019, 1020, 1021, 1022, 14. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat right here on the front of my bumper. This test is called the finger dexterity test, okay? Go ahead and lean back. Go ahead and lean back. Okay. Can you count one through ten? Yes. Okay. What I need you to do, pay I'm parts, but yes. Okay. In this manner, okay? Pay attention, I'm gonna demonstrate this test for you, okay? Demonstrate. You're gonna to touch the tip of your Okay. You're gonna count in this manner. One, two, three, four. Four. That is one pass, okay? Over and back. I'm gonna demonstrate it one more time for you, okay? Four, four, three, two, one. I need you to do that three times. Three total passes, okay? Do you have any questions? No. Go go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, pass. One, three, two, pass. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, pass. That I have held.
Okay. All right. Turn around. Go ahead and turn around. You're so. Can I, can I, talk to her to get a hold of these dogs? I pass. All right, let's go ahead and go over here. The police informed her that she was being arrested for driving while intoxicated, DWI. She was read her rights under New Mexico's implied consent law, which required a breath test, and was informed of her right to arrange for an additional independent test. At this moment, the person believed to be the suspect's mother arrived at the scene and quickly reassured the young woman. Four, three, five, so come. Ten, fifteen. I did everything. Ten, yes. I know, mommy. The keys. Get the keys and take them to Terra's. I mean, I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for DWI. Yeah. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act, I'll call a content of your blood. Yep. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. Independent test, you have the right to choose an... Are a re Let me start over. If you Go choose ahead. to take this additional independent opportunity to arrange for a, a physician, a licensed nurse, a laboratory technician or technologist, physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be agreed to take our test? Yep. Yes? Yes or no? Yes, I said yes. Am okay. I not here? Take Tara's part of my house! I just told you you're not going to hit your head, right? And I also told you that you weren't going to do this to me because okay. I complied. Open your mouth. You you're not going to kick my door. No, I'm asking you. Okay, not. Hey, calm down. Calm down, please. Calm down. I'm going to take the dogs. I'm going to take the car. Sala, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. Take my glasses. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. I know. Okay. They're going to help me. To the house. I'm going to help you. Look at what he did to me. Hey. Ah! Stop it. Stop it. That's enough. I know. And, and you know very well that you're not supposed to be drinking. Okay. What is my sister? And look at what he did to me. I know, Marcella. Okay. Okay. That's enough. We're going to take the car. We're going to take the dogs home. They're not going to take the dogs. Okay, he's gonna take me and park the truck over there because I don't want to. But I'm just afraid about the start dogs. Start a 20 minute deprivation, mount the street and clear. You know how they are. I can say that. Mm -hmm. Just to figure it out, you can't have the cage. We'll get we'll get you some water at the office. Okay. Stop. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. It's, 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 it's busy. <laughs> I know. After being reassured and taken to the police station, she underwent a breath alcohol test and completed all related procedures. At this point, the woman felt regretful for her actions. It seemed she had learned a memorable lesson. Okay, gonna step breath. The machine's gonna make a noise, okay? Blow until it's that. It's like a breathalyzer. This, that's what uh, tone stops, okay? Do I hum? No, just blow. <laughs> just breath. For, for, uh, to have a dark room. So we tape, tape it all the Is way up. They're just, they're just uncomfortable. They're just uncomfortable. Okay. This one oh, we'll take them off in a bit. Ultimately, the woman was arrested and charged with the following offenses. Driving while intoxicated, DWI, for driving without a valid license, insurance, and registration, along with traffic violations. She struggled with the sobriety tests and refused to cooperate, which significantly worsened the charges against her. This case highlights that driving while intoxicated is not only dangerous, but can also lead to severe legal consequences. 
complying with traffic laws, maintaining a valid driver's license, and avoiding alcohol before driving are crucial to protecting oneself and others on the road, as well as avoiding harsh penalties. What are your thoughts on the woman's actions? Let's discuss this behavior together. As we close this chapter of the spoiled teens run in with a no-nonsense cop, we're reminded that entitlement doesn't shield anyone from the consequences of their actions. This encounter teaches us valuable lessons about respect, humility, and the importance of understanding the rules that govern our lives. Sometimes, a firm reminder is exactly what's needed to set us back on the right path. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video and found it meaningful, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more engaging stories that inspire growth and understanding. Let's keep learning together and support one another in making better choices every day. Until next time, take care.